Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? I'm your producer, Heavy Hitter, and we're inside of MGB Studio Lab. And today I want to show you how to use the MPC Renaissance with Logic Pro. With that being said, let's get started. First thing you want to do is open Logic Pro. Go to File, New. Create a new empty project. Once Logic opens, and select new track, you want to select new software instrument. Once the new software instrument track pops up, you want to go down to I.O. right above the stereo output. Left click on it and go down to AU instruments and select Akai MPC stereo. Now, for those of you who don't know, you can use the MPC multi-output, but we'll show you that at a later time. Once the MPC software that came with your MPC Renaissance pops up, you want to go to the MPC Preferences window, excuse me, and you want to go to Hardware, Transport Controls, and select DAW. Click OK. After you do that, you want to go to the Logic Pro Preference window and go to Key Commands. And in the Key, key Commands window, you want to go to Global Commands. Now, what we're going to show you is how to map your transport controls from your MPC Renaissance to be used in Logic Pro or vice versa. Whatever the workflow that you're using at the time. So, and so doing this, when you start mapping the transport controls, don't press record and then stop. Just go as an even flow straight down as you see me do. The first one we're going to do is click record. Learn new assignment and press the record button. As you can see, it's now recording on my MPC hardware. So, Next, we want to go down to the play button, hit learn new assignment, and press play on the MPC Renaissance. After selecting the play button and mapping that function to the MPC, go to stop, learn new assignment, press stop on the MPC. Go down to rewind, press learn new assignment, press the rewind button. Go to forward, learn new assignment, and the forward button. After you have your transport controls mapped, you can close your global key commands window. Now, See if the functions work. That's record, stop, play, rewind, and forward. And there you have it for mapping your global key commands from Logic Pro to use with the MPC Renaissance. Now, go to file. Sorry. Go to File, Save as Template, name your template, and press Save. Now, so when you come back to uh, your workflow, 
you don't have to recreate this template. It'll already be there done for you for further projects. And um, I guess for further tutorials on how to track out your beats from within inside of the MPC and Logic, and for other tutorials, go to majorgrindbeats.com. Thank you. Peace.